Skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a pretty new Stormrider 88 for you today. Some small changes in the construction, but overall a very similar footprint and overall feel. Uh, shiny new top sheet as well. So kind of taking this Stormrider into the next level. Uh, all Stormriders for 2024, including this 88, get an updated wood core of Poplar Beach and Polonia stringers. So it just gives it a little bit of a different feel. Uh, I found it to be just slightly stiffer, uh, better kind of finishing that turn, but generally the same type of ski uh, and keeps the same quality and precision and that top end level of stability and smoothness. Uh, the things that we've always remarked about Stokely hold true. Uh, they're insanely quiet. Uh, you know, their use of rubber dust in every epoxy laminate that they have uh, really just keeps this ski about as smooth and stable as it gets. So really, really great option for that all-mountain skier who's looking for one ski to handle everything from firm groomers all the way to deeper snow, trees, moguls. Uh, this is about as versatile as it gets. Uh, you know, having that 88 millimeter underfoot width is just insanely useful uh, for just a variety of different conditions and terrain. You know, for us where we ski here in Vermont, you see a lot of skis at this width. Um, you know, it might be a narrow option for skiers that are in snowier zones, but for the most part, uh, the, the lighter weight, the ability of this ski to flex makes it better in softer snow while still retaining that firm snow, uh, you know, just like tight, tight turn uh, style in anything that's firmer than softer groomers. Um, but yeah, we got that updated wood core, still have that Titec, uh laminate on top. So every time that we have this upper layer of metal, um, your bindings and boots are closer to it, and that results in a better transfer of energy. So having your, your foot closer to the metal laminate makes everything feel a lot smoother. Uh, but yeah, pretty light. Uh, this is the 175 here. Uh, coming in on the scale at 1,650 grams. So definitely on the lighter side. It, it's, you know, for a ski with metal, using other components like that rubber dust, you'd think it would be heavier, but not, not really the case. So great job by Stokely keeping this smooth ski super light and easy to use. From a shape and profile perspective, we do still have that nice positive camber underfoot. And then not a ton of rocker, uh, to talk about here in the shovel, you know, it's very much a directional ski, directional all-mountain ski, uh, and that shows in the tip, not a ton of taper. As we get wider in the Storm Rider series, that taper becomes more pronounced. Um, and then in the tail, pretty much the same story as we've had with this 88 for the past few years, where pretty much zero taper. I would call that a very flat tail, save for this tiny little bit of splay at the end here. Uh, which lines up with that metal insert that goes into the ski. So that, that secondary laminate of metal just in the tail here doesn't extend uh, into the cambered portion of the ski, just giving you a little bit of friendliness on the tail end. But in general, very stiff, very responsive tail, uh, mostly due to that squared off shape and the fact that there's that, the, that full metal laminate uh, throughout the whole ski. Um, you know, it does come at a price, but you're getting the quality and the smoothness out of it. It's not that this does more or better things than other skis at this high-end performance spectrum. It just does them quieter and smoother, and that's really what you're paying for. Um, but yeah, top-end ski for sure. Check out this new Stokely Stormrider 88 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye!